What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day, and Mick Thompson lovers rejoice. It is the rare occasion where we are unboxing a Mick Thompson Slipknot mask. So without wasting much time, let's go ahead and get on into the package. We have a box here from Into the Void over on Instagram, who approached me and said, hey, I'm gonna make you a Mick Thompson mask variation that you don't have in your set yet. And I was like, oh hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah! And he was like, cool. And then he did it. And now it's here. And we have it. And we're gonna unbox it. So, let's go ahead and see what we've got. I'll try to be careful while I open this as to not damage anything inside. Always cut towards yourself. That's what my dad always told me. And we are in. All right, so it looks like there is a note on the bottom, technically the top, but I did open it from the bottom, kind of like I opened your mom from the bottom. So we'll go ahead and read this note. It says, hey there, I've been watching your videos for around four years now and never thought I'd be a part of your collection. I am fairly new to the hobby and those are the first masks I've made myself. So having this opportunity is a pretty big deal for me. I also just wanted to take a second and not only thank you, but also all the other artists in the hobby for inspiring me and many, many others. Hope you enjoy the mask and keep up the great work. Much love, scratched out. Hate from Germany, the void. What a nice little letter. And then on the back, it looks like we've got a nice, nasty handprint. Creepy. All right, are you guys ready to see this Mick Thompson piece? I know I am. I have seen photos of it over the internet, but I have not seen it in real life, obviously. So we are going to take our first look at this thing together. All right, here we go. Can you guys tell what you're looking at yet? All right. Here we have a Mick Thompson, Freddy versus Jason, AKA late Iowa Mick Thompson mask. I don't know if I already said Mick Thompson when I said that. Mick Thompson, Freddy versus Jason. I don't know, anyways. We have a Mick Thompson, Freddy versus Jason conversion here. And I'm just letting you guys take the first look at it before I spin it around and look for myself. So here we go. Oh yeah, nice and simple. Just a nice abused old Mick Thompson piece. We have what looks to be some accurate weathering and even more importantly, we have what looks to be accurate cuts and warping in the mouth, which is a big, big part of a Mick conversion. Uh, and a detail that a lot of people miss. So aside from the obvious weathering and wear and tear there, we also have some slits and cuts coming off of those slits that are warped as well which is very prominent on a Mick Thompson mask. As you can see, the buckles are painted just like the real mask because this was just a leather template off of a leather devil that Mick Thompson had spray painted silver. So it's kind of interesting how low budget that Iowa mask was in comparison to a lot of the other masks that like Screaming Mad George was doing for the band or even the other high-end conversions like the Jester conversions for Jim. Mick just literally took a self-titled mask and spray painted it silver, which I dig. That definitely keeps the feel of self-titled Slipknot going into the Iowa era. And speaking of the Iowa era, and more specifically the Freddy vs. Jason sub era inside of the Iowa era, what a weird time for Slipknot, am I right? This was pretty much the time between Volume 3 and Iowa, and it was a strange, strange time. In comparison to Tattoo the Earth, which was between self-titled and Iowa, we had the Freddy vs. Jason era, which was in between Iowa and Volume 3, and it was a strange time. In comparison to Tattoo the Earth, it was almost like the opposite. Very similar in some instances, what with the windbreakers and old used and abused masks from that cycle, but also really, really strange. Sid was not even wearing a mask at this premiere, just face paint, I find that weird. And then the band just looked as like ununiform as they've ever looked in some way. I, I don't know what it is, I don't know how to put my finger on it, but it was just a very, very different type of slipknot. Regardless, I don't have a whole lot of the masks from that premiere. I don't have the Corey Taylor with the three over the forehead. I don't have the Paul from that event, and up until right now, I didn't have a Mick, but now I do, and it is an absolutely beautiful conversion, as you can see there. And I think that if you guys did some side-by-side -side comparisons of this, you would find just how good this really is. So a massive, massive thank you to Into the Void for absolutely killing this piece and giving me yet another awesome Mick to add to my collection. The Mick collection is pretty small, as you guys are probably aware, and that's not even really my fault. It's not for lack of collecting. It's just because Mick didn't have the biggest variation of masks to begin with. A lot of the 
these other members like Sid or Joey or Clown were switching masks quite often. Mick will find a mask, ride it out through that album cycle, and barely make any changes to the next mask during the next album cycle. So it's always cool and always a rare instance when we get to do a Mick mask unboxing and review, and I'm here for it. I hope that you guys are too. Now, with that being said, I think that we are going to go ahead and end this video. As always, I'm going to end it the same way that I do the rest, and that is with some nice up-close shots of this piece to let you guys see all of the detail, and then we will take it out and throw it in the collection and show it off there as well. I believe that I am officially out of room on the mix shelf, so we're probably going to have to do some reorganizing, which will be something cool for you guys to see as well, because we don't always do that in videos, and you guys probably wonder how in one video all of a certain set of masks are on this shelf and then in the next video all of a sudden they're on the other side of the room on a completely different shelf. So a massive massive thank you to Into the Void for absolutely crushing this piece and sending it over my way. If you guys would like to go check him out as always I am going to be leaving his information in the description of this video. Make sure to go do so and let him know that the House of Masks sent you and maybe he'll keep hooking us up with cool shit to unbox here on the channel. Now with all of that being said I think that this video is over. A big thank you to you guys for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to weird mask variations. And we will see you guys in the next one.